Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rahoza, and if this is the first time that you're seeing my face, then welcome. It's so nice to have you here on the YouTube channel. If you're interested in checking out my free live webinar that I'm hosting on May 25th, that is called Become the Empowered Leader. So if you consider yourself a woman who is a spiritual leader, whether that be online, whether that be in your community, then I would love for you to join us live in this room. It is a free masterclass on May 25th, 5 p.m. EST. I'm gonna leave the link in the description to sign up. I am so, so excited for it. I'm gonna bring in so much valuable information that I've learned over the past, honestly, like three or so years of being on my entrepreneurship journey and stepping into a leadership position online as a mentor, as a coach, and as a content creator. And if you're watching this video after May 25th, then you'll be able to sign up for the replay also in the description down below. Now let's talk about today's video, which is all about how to completely shift your identity, shift your self-concept, and shift the way that you show up in this reality to align yourself with the version of yourself that you want to be, right? Clearly, there's a gap between where you want to be and where you currently are. How do you actually not just manifest the things that you want, but become a new person in that process? Completely shift your identity to become your highest self version of you and quantum leap reality so that you're not only living in a new life, but also in a new mind. And the very quick answer to this before I get into more detail in, you know, more cohesive and structured steps, I want to say that that bridge between who you are and who you want to be, while yes, it's important to affirm and to use all these tools for manifestation, the actual number one, my dog shaking, <laughs> the actual number one thing that you need to do to collapse that time and to actually make that quantum leap to the new reality is a thing a lot of people don't want to hear but it's a thing that's actually gonna make the difference. And that is that you need to act in alignment and in accordance with that version of you. Okay, you probably heard this a million times. Tell me something I don't know, right? But how do we actually act in accordance with a version of us that we are not currently embodying yet? And why do we need to take action? You know, there's a lot of people out there that are like, no, like manifestation is all in the mind. If you wanna become a new person, a new version of you, you just need to think better thoughts and you just need to affirm, affirm, affirm. And listen, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break it all down in this video, don't you worry. But the reason that we do need to take actions to align with our higher self is because we live in a world of movement, okay? Things are always moving. And we cannot expect to move from where we are to where we want to be without actually taking the necessary aligned steps that are going to lead us there. Odds are, if you're here on this channel, you already know what you want. You know who you want to become. You know the life that you're trying to call in. Maybe you even know how to manifest a thing or two here and there, but what's the difference between a manifesting a thing or two here and there versus actually shifting your identity quantum leaping into an entirely new version of you with a new reality with new circumstances with a new mindset a new belief system a new entire way of being and going about life let's let's break it down let's talk about this this process of identity shifting now a lot of these things that i'm going to share you might be like okay this is a little basic i already know this but just hear me out and wait till the end because i have a feeling that if you come and approach this video with an open mind that you're going to get a lot of value from it so number one thing is desire right you need to know exactly what it is that you desire now our desires are always changing right we're desiring different things at different times sometimes our desires expand sometimes we realize what we thought we wanted we don't actually want anymore sometimes we realize we're playing small with our desires our desires change so while we can get anything that we desire what kind of desires are we desiring this is actually the reason and the purpose that I created a space that I host on the first Monday of every month called The Seed. And this is the space that I host to do exactly this, is to come together, a group of women, live on Zoom on the first Monday of every month. And we talk about what our new goals are. How are we going to expand our vision, expand our goals beyond what we currently think we desire? Because a lot of times what we think we desire in this moment is actually limiting. Okay. So desire step number one, desire means that I see something that I desire 
and it's up separate from me, right? That's that's step number one is seeing I am where I am right now. This is my current reality. And the thing I want is over there. That is desire. I desire something because I lack it. Something is not in my life. I don't have this feeling. I don't have this thing. I don't have this identity right now. So I desire it. I want it because I, I feel the lack of it right now. And that's okay. I'm not saying that's a bad thing. That's what desire is. Desire is wanting something that you don't currently have. So step number one, setting that desire is that state where you are separate from your desire. You're recognizing, you're acknowledging, hmm, there is somewhere I wanna be that I am currently not at right now. And this is life, by the way. There's, you're always going to desire things. That's why we're alive, that's why we're here. So it's good to recognize this stage of the process where we are, where we are where we are, and we desire to be somewhere else. That's desire. Step number two in this identity shifting process is once you, you have that desire down, you know what it is you want. All right, now you actually want to go into that desire and see, feel it out and be like, hmm, what would I feel like with this desire in my life? What would I do on a daily basis? You know, you're starting to think about these things. You're starting to say, can I handle this thing that I want, this desire? If I'm asking for making $10,000 a month, what does that feel like in my body? Can I handle that? You start to go into that desire and feel as though it's already in your life. This is that embodiment piece, right? This is the visualizing part. This is the affirmations aspect of the manifestation process. We're we're affirming, I already have this thing. We're starting to normalize it for our minds. So instead of it being a desire that's far away from me, you bring that desire close to you so that in your mind, you're starting to saturate your mind and your subconscious with already being this version of you that has the thing that you desire. So step number two is that phase where you begin to start to feel it real. You begin to start doing the tools that we always talk about in the manifestation community, like affirming, like visualizing, like feeling as if, like any technique or tool or whatever that gets you to feel like your desires are already here. Entering into the state akin to sleep, like whatever it is that you get yourself to feel the way that you desire to feel. Like this is where people do affirmations, right? And people ask me all the time about robotic affirmations and if this is all you need to do to affirm because my biggest video right now on my channel is about robotic affirming. So, and I know it's like a very trendy thing, like robotic, like you just need to robotically affirm and you'll get your desires. And what I want to say about that is that yes, robotic affirming works and robotic affirming is a tool and it's definitely a great tool to get your manifestations and desires, but life ebbs and flows, right? We're not always going to want to robotically affirm 24 seven, be so structured all the time. It doesn't work for everyone either. You know, it's not a one size fits all approach. For me personally, there are phases in my life where I like to robotically affirm that feels good to me. I just, and I wanna manifest my things and I'm like feeling good about robotically affirming. So that's what I'll do. But there are other times where I'm like, I, this doesn't feel good to me. I feel resistance here, right? And I'm actually gonna talk about this topic exactly in my next video, um, which is gonna be called, what if I don't feel like affirming? Will my manifestation still manifest? So stay tuned if you wanna hear um, what I have to say about that. But. I'm gonna keep myself on track for the topic of this video. And that's amazing because what you're literally doing here is you are changing your mind from, okay, I had a desire and I'm taking that desire and I'm actually feeling like I'm living in that desire. And this is a practice, this takes time, but this is the second step. And the thing is that a lot of people will just stop here. They'll just say, okay, I'm gonna think about it. I'm gonna saturate my mind, pretend I'm living in this new reality and that's it, okay? People stop there. But there's another part of the process that people miss that I feel like is the number one key to collapsing time, to actually making that version of you that you exist as in your mind an actual reality right now. And that thing is movement, action, the thing that nobody wants to hear, right? Because it's easy that manifestation is literally just all in the mind and that you just have to think something and it appears in your life. Now, I'm not saying that that is not a potential reality, especially if you just want to manifest like a few things here and there. You can think about something, you can saturate your mind with it, you can affirm for it, you can visualize it and poof, it'll come out of thin air, absolutely. But I'm talking about when you want to shift your identity, when you be want to become a whole new person, you don't just want to manifest $15,000 months, you want to have the identity of a million dollar CEO. Or you, instead of just wanting to lose 50 pounds, you want to be a person who is just fit and healthy and sustains that 
healthy weight and that healthy lifestyle and energy and and you actually want to be that person right it's the difference between i'm um, attracting something here because it's like instant and it's fast and i just want it now versus i don't just want a thing or two here and there i want to shift my entire way of being you know when it came to this youtube channel i actually had to come to a point where i was like i don't just want to attract like subscribers and people and and like make some money from my youtube channel no i want to become the version of me that is in this leadership position that shows up every day that loves what she does that creates community and connection with the audience and the people that are listening to me on the other side of the screen right there's depth to that there's an identity that comes with that i am this version of me who is a leader who has something of value to say and I didn't always think this way, you know, I didn't always carry this identity that I could influence others in a positive way. But I decided this is who I want to become. So in that process, I had to take actions to change my reality and align myself to that new identity. To become an entirely new version of you, you must actually do the thing that you would do if you were that version of you. So once you get yourself and your mindset into that new frame of mind of who do I want to be, you have to then think from that place of, okay, if I was this version of me, if I was this multimillionaire CEO and I made all the money that I desired and I was the healthiest version of me, I am healthy, I am alive, I do love showing up, I do have great relationships in my life. With that identity, because that is an identity that you're wanting to become and step into, right? It's not like you want one thing. You want to sustain that life. You want to live in that life and that identity. So when you get into that mind space of your manifestations, what are the actions that that version of you does? You need to act not from where you are to get to where you want to be, but by first getting your mindset into the life that you want to be and then saying, what do I do in this state? What do I do as the highest self version of me? Not what do I do to get there? What if I'm already there? I'm already the YouTuber that has a million subscribers. The version of me that is a YouTuber that is working towards 100,000 subscribers is going to show up differently than the version of me who has 100,000 subscribers and shows up talking to her people. There's a difference in the energy. There's a difference in the way I show up as an aspiring YouTuber. One day people will see me to, no, I'm talking to you right now. No, I'm talking to a person right now. There is a person on the other side of this lens listening to me, gaining value from me. It's a difference in the way I show up. It's a difference in the way that I share my message, right? Because I'm embodying the version of me that I want to be with my health goals. I see myself as the identity of just being the super fit, the healthiest version of me that I've ever been. Right now I'm on that process of moving towards her. But I'm not thinking about that version of me and thinking like, I'm so far from her and I hate where I'm at right now, and I'm so far from where I want to be. No, I'm thinking, I already have the body of my dreams, now how would I act? How I would act is I would make my own food at home every day. How I would act is I would go to the gym every day. And that's what I do. I show up every single day at the gym, and while I'm at the gym too, matter of fact, I visualize myself as the healthiest version of me. And that makes me push even harder, because I'm like, I'm already in this identity. Now, the reason that people have resistance to taking action or stepping into that identity is because it's like jumping into the unknown. And that's scary, right? It's scary to jump into the unknown. I don't know what's gonna happen if I act in alignment with my higher self. If I'm a multiple six-figure earner, the way that that version of me acts is very different than the version of me who's trying to make $3,000 a month acts. The six-figure earner knows how to take risks. She knows how to make investments. She knows how to put herself in uncomfortable situations, face the unknown, talk to people, create opportunities for herself. There's all these aspects that are a part of my ideal version. And in order to get there, I need to step into the unknown right now. I have to do the scary thing now before I feel ready for it. And that's why so many people don't collapse time between getting to where they wanna be because it requires you to step into a territory and a mindset and a place and take actions that you've never done before. And that is scary. Our egos wanna keep us where we are, wanna keep us small, wanna protect us from the unknown. But actually being brave enough to take that leap and jump into the unknown, that is what makes all the difference collapses that time 
allows you to step into that new identity and that is what makes a leader. Leaders go first. Leaders don't wait for everybody else in front of them to pave the way and then take the action and then make the jump. No, you need to do the thing first. You need to face your fear head on, feel the fear and do it anyway. You jump because you have faith, right? And once again, if you are a leader or you are in this position and you feel like there's a big shift in coming up in your life and you wanna make that jump or maybe you're scared to make that jump or maybe you just made that jump and you feel like you're jumping into the unknown, then this free masterclass is gonna be your space. Like, trust me, you're gonna wanna get yourself in the room because I'm gonna be talking about exactly this. You jump into the unknown because you have faith. You have faith about where you're going. You know where you're gonna land because you set the desire out, your sight is set. You feel and embody as if you're already that version and now you just take the actions to prove to yourself that you actually do believe in your desire coming into fruition. The reason people don't take the action part is because it's scary, it's unknown, it's uncomfortable. Our egos wanna keep us where we are. But actually taking that step into becoming the next level version of you sends that signal out to the universe like I actually have 100% faith. If you have 100% faith, then you'll do the thing. If you don't have faith, you'll play small. You'll be like, you'll be wishful thinking, oh my God, I wish, I'll, I hope I'll get this thing and I hope it manifests in my life. Like, no, actually do the thing that's gonna get you the thing. You need to trust yourself to act because you're now shifting your way of being. This is what it means to quantum leap. It's the actions that bring you to a new timeline. Okay, so I hope that this video was very helpful and that it emphasized the importance of not just thinking about the things that you desire, but actually acting in accordance and in align alignment with the thing that you wanna call in, because that proves your faith. So I hope that you take this video as it resonates and that I hope that it brought value to you in your life. If it did, please leave it a like and a comment down below, letting me know what was the most valuable thing you got from this video. Hit that subscribe button for new videos weekly. Sign up for the free masterclass, Become an Empowered Leader, in the description down below. You can also read up more details and information about it in the description down below. And without further ado, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Love you!